I believe in me. I believe in me. I believe in you. I believe in you. Stand strong. You are powerful. Stand strong. You are inspiring. We are fighters. We are ambitious. We are extraordinary. We are conquerors. Simply, Simply straight, straight talk. talk. Our, Our voices, voices will, will be heard. heard. This is Simply Straight Talk. Yeah. Tune in now, you don't want to miss out. Real conversation, plenty motivation. Uh-huh. Keep you thinking and still entertaining. Yeah, I know that you'll enjoy the Mido's free. Your voice is your choice. Hosted by Reggie B, but you already know. And you gotta check them out and how we roll. Hey, ain't nothing off the table. Give it to you straight. Changing your mindset, talking past mistakes. You ain't gotta wait, time to take off. This is Simply Straight Talk. Welcome to the Simply Straight Talk podcast. I'm Melissa, a professional voiceover artist. If you're new to our podcast, we hope you find it motivational and fun because you're in the right place. We can't wait to share what we've learned about life with you. After all, you never know what Reggie's going to say. Stick around. The show is about to start. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the Simply Straight Talk Show. This is your man Reggie Beat. Listen, today we're going to talk about faking it is making it today. That's right. Faking it is making it today. That's what we're going to talk about today because that's what we got going on. We got so many people who have adopted the mindset. Because you know, it used to be this old saying, fake it until you make it. And a lot of people really have taken that to a whole nother level a whole nother level because when people used to say fake it until you make it, they were basically saying, you know, it just sort of suggested that, you know, you have this confidence and competence and like this optimistic mindset, like you've already done it. Like if you want to be a millionaire, you know, operate like a millionaire, have the confidence of a millionaire. That's what the mindset was, you know, even, Vince McMahon on an old wrestling episode said the same thing, you know, act like a billionaire. You don't have to be a billionaire, act like one. And it's just gotten to the point to where this whole faking it is making it today mentality has gotten out of control. It's gotten out of control. Now, I know a lot of you have probably said, eh, You know, it's an old thing. It ain't nothing new. But when you really look at it, think about it. How many people have you met on social media who have had a fake profile? Not only was the profile fake, we don't get into the whole catfishing thing. But instead of catfishing you to go out with you, they're catfishing you about their lifestyle. They're leading you to believe that they have a lifestyle that they have yet to obtain. They're making you think they got this nice house, these nice cars. They live in this big luxury life. But are they really? Because everybody has the mindset now, not everybody, but a lot of people are adopting the mindset of fake it till you make it. Don't work hard. Don't try to grow. Don't try to actually manifest or produce what you want in life to become a reality. Their thing now is just fake it. Look like you got money. You got people on social media who want to pretend like they're these big celebrity stars. So they take these photos and they get all the photos with the different filters and they will go sit in the club and they'll sit in one spot and make it look like they the life of the party. But the thing is, they get to the club early when nobody's really in there so they can have a section to themselves so they look like they in VIP. Or they get a hotel for one or two nights, a nice hotel to make it look like that's what they do every day. They're taking pictures with other people's cars. They're going to friend's house or somebody they know who has a friend who invited them to their house, taking pictures like it's their house, like it's their life. You know, this whole faking it till you make it thing, man, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Are we to the point in society today that we are just so uncomfortable with being good at who we are that we have to 
put on this fake impression to the world that we're rich. We got this luxury lifestyle that we out here balling, spending money. We rolling out the clubs all times of the night. We the life of the party. All these girls are chasing us. All these guys want us. I wear these fancy clothes and fan. Is it, is it really to that point? Is your life that bad to where you have to fake it so hard? And my problem with this whole faking it is making it today sort of thing that people got going on is some people, I get it. If you just want to exude the confidence that, you know, you're making it like you're getting there, you're moving. I get the confidence thing. I get setting a first impression. But what I don't get is when people are using this whole faking it is making it today because they're not making it. They're not progressing in life. They're not doing anything in life. They're simply just living off of likes and comments on social media. That's what they're doing. They're living off things in their DMS. They're living off the fact that people think they are living a lifestyle. So people are reaching out to them and contacting them. And the truth is nothing about them is true. Nothing about what they portray is true. Nothing about what they're saying they're doing is true. They're not traveling. They're not, they don't own that house or that car. They're not living that life. But they want to make it seem like they got this just grand, great life. But the truth of the matter is, what if you just lived your life? You would probably be happier. You would probably be naturally happy instead of trying to put up all this fake stuff to make it seem like you're living a different life that you're really living. And I think that's why some people go into depression because what happens when people find out and they start to blow you up like, whoa, 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 I know this chick. No, 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 no. She ain't living like that. That dude ain't living like that. That dude ain't pulling those six figures. That dude pulling in 30, 40,000 a year. But he got women out here thinking that he pulling six figures and he got this nice house and all this stuff. He's living his life. And women the same way. They want to make it seem like they that chick. You know, they got this. They got that. And the truth is, you ain't nothing but a 30, 40,000 chick. He ain't nothing but a 30, 40,000 dude. But be happy at that and work on making what you really want come true. Stop trying to fake being something that you're not. It's costing you more to actually continue to put on this facade and fake like you're living this lifestyle, that you have all these things, that you are accomplished in ways that you're actually not. Why are you faking it? And because when you start faking it like that, then you got to have fake people around you to help you pull off the facade. And normally those friendships don't last. They fall apart. That's why you see people, you know, one minute they got all these best friends. This is my best friend, my ride or die, my homie. This is my girl. She my BFL. And then three to four months later, that person out the picture and somebody else is a good friend. So you moving from friend to friend to friend. But really, truly, you don't have friends. Because you faking your life so much that the people that come in your life are faking it. They're faking it for you. Some people are coming in thinking that they can get an opportunity through you. But then when they find out how fake you are, they fade away from you. So that's when you start posting stuff about how you hate this type of person. You hate that type of person. I hate guys that do this or guys that do that. I hate women that do this or women that do that. You know, you start bad mouthing people. Trying to make it seem like you the victim. But you don't want to hear victimizing everybody by portraying a lifestyle. That's not you. And you got the same thing in the workplace. You got people who go to jobs and they are faking it. They're faking it. They know how to smooth up to the people that's in charge. You know, they smile in their face and they hang out with them. You know, basically they kiss an ass. They kiss an ass but they don't really know the job. But the people up top, y'all know how it is. The VPs, directors, and managers all think like, oh, this is a good person. They're a great person. But let shit really hit the fan. You find out that that person like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So basically all you good at is responding to emails or, uh, you know, cutting a laugh or a joke, typing here and there. You can't really get into the nuts and bolts of what make things flow. 
Oh, man. And a lot of y'all know that you got people that you work with every day that are faking it. They're faking it. They're kissing up to the people in charge so they themselves can look good. You got people that do it on the jobs. You got people that do it in bars, restaurants. I mean, wherever you got people who don't have the skill set for what for what they're doing. So they continually kiss up to fake it. And people like that are dangerous because those type of people with hope will withhold information on the job so that they can seem like they had to come back and clean up somebody else's situation. That's the type of people they are. They will under the cover, make you look bad, but drive the bus over you from behind. They'll push you out in the street, let you fall down. Then when the bus run over, Oh, I saved them. I saved them. Yo, ass the one push that person underneath the bus. But that's how a lot of people are getting by today. And today's society has become so accepting of people just faking success, faking personal and professional growth. That is the world we live in today. People faking it. And a lot of people are buying into it because they're selling something that people think that they want to emulate. They're selling something to make people think that there's an opportunity or something can be gained from knowing this person. So that person is getting fake friends. They're getting fake support because their whole world is fake. So who do you get mad at? Do you get mad at the people because they think this person can provide an opportunity and that's why they're buying into that person? Or do you get mad at that person for creating an illusion? that other people are buying into because they think they have a friend. They think that this is a cool person. But it's really sad that when a person gets older in life or start to go through life and they become so caught up and okay with faking it because they feel like they made it. Yeah, I faked my way to this friendship. I faked my way into this relationship. I faked my way into this job. I faked my way into a bonus. I faked my way into this show or this concert or to be able to get on stage and do this and do that. I lead people to believe that I'm this super $500 million company. And that's what they do. That's what they try to do. They try to fake people into believing there's something that they're not. And some people actually start to believe the bull crap that they're faking to other people. They start to believe it. Even though they know they're sitting there downloading pictures and images from the internet, posting that stuff on social media, then editing it so that they're inside of it, or it looks like them taking pictures in places that really they own nothing but they're making it seem like to the people looking at them, like this is my life. You know, you want to be me, you know, you want some of this, but they're fake people. And that's the thing about it. You know, a lot of people get upset because they, they want that lifestyle. Either they want to be acknowledged. They want to be recognized. They want people to think that they have this grand life. Or maybe they feel like they're getting back at other people. It could be somebody that they broke up with or maybe some old high school friends that they, you know, want to let them know that they're doing better than them. So they create this world. Some people just want to do it. They just want to do it to create something to build them up. It gives them an illusion that their life is better than what it is. And they spend the whole day going online to see if they got more likes, if they got more follows and every comment makes them feel like they're more accomplished. They're more successful. It's a big difference when you're faking like you got a degree than actually going to Jackson state university, Southern university, Alcorn state, Bethune, Cookman, Florida, a and you know what I'm saying? Norfolk state, Delaware state, North Carolina, a and Alabama A and M, Alabama. You know, I can go through my I can go through my HBCUs all day, but you know, Prairie View. You know what I'm saying? You know. But the thing about it is, actually going and getting your degree instead of being online and faking like you got a degree, faking like you this accomplished person is two different things. 
because you can never reproduce that feeling of somebody who has started a real business and they're actually doing their thing with their business. Even if that business is not a hundred thousand dollar a year business, it may be a 20 or 30,000 year business, but it's the fact that that person has a sense of pride in what they're doing to either write that book, start that business, get their music career off the ground, whatever they're trying to do, but they're not faking it. They're out there hustling and grinding to make it happen. But people look at certain people and say, oh, but look, they're, they're, they made it. They made it. But you see nothing else outside of that. You don't see anything outside of what they post. The fact is, you don't have to fake it to make it in life. It's dangerous. Because you, it, it really does stop you from wanting to learn more. Because when you're faking it and you can say, I made it because you've got all this fake stuff up and you feel, you, you feel like you're getting all these accolades and acknowledgements from different people, you're not really, you haven't made it. You haven't done anything. You simply set yourself up to be exposed at some point by somebody. Do we, like I said, I did a show last week about how people are so sensitive now. There are people who go on the internet and if they find out that you are not the person you are, they are going to expose you. There's nothing wrong with trying to do your music career, but working a job. There's nothing wrong with, yeah, I got a business and I might still be working another job, but I'm out here doing what I got to do. I'm not out here faking it. I buy my equipment. I don't download pictures to make it seem like I got equipment. I don't fake my pictures in a club to make it seem like I'm the center of the party and pretend like I got all these massive followers and fans. I am by no means even close to somebody like Joe Rogan, what they do on their show, what he do on his show. Joe, Lord, Joe Rogan is at the top. Everybody wants to reach that Joe Rogan level. Would it be nice to have that many listeners who care about what I say and or who are into self-care and self-improvement? Of course, I would love it but I am nowhere near close to that. <laughs> nowhere near. <laughs> but I love what I do. And I also love the fact that uh, I got to give a shout out to some people, so we got to take a break. So we'll be right back right after the break. This is Simply Straight Talk with your host, Reggie, bringing the conversation straight to you. Where can you find tasty food, healthy food, fun surroundings, Fine dining and cool products? The answer is simple on the Critiquing Experience YouTube channel. Reggie enjoys trying new things and sharing his experience with others. On the Critiquing Experience YouTube channel, you will find out if a product or service actually holds up to its advertised promises. You know what I'm talking about. Restaurants that claim to have down home Southern cooking. Hotels that promise clean rooms and friendly staff, or products that claim to have 10 features. But after you purchase, you find out it only has three. This channel only publishes honest reviews. Now is the time to subscribe and check out the reviews on the Critiquing Experience YouTube channel. We hope you're enjoying the show. As our listeners, this show is made possible because of your support. Make sure you click the subscribe button and leave a comment. Thank you for being a part of the show. And now back to your host, Reggie Maddox. Hey, everybody. We are back. We are back. Listen, today we're talking about faking it is making it today. Because that's what it is, man. A lot of people are out here faking it. And they're calling it success. They're saying that they're made it. They feel like they're living the life. And, you know, let me ask y'all something. How many of the people that maybe you follow on social media, maybe they're not even on social media, but do you know people that just simply everything you say, they've done it. Not only have they done it, every time you talk to them, they're always doing something big and, and they got the, they got the perfect marriage. They got this great life. They're traveling. They're doing this. Everything is about what they're doing. Have you ever talked to people like that? And the funny thing is people who talk to people like that, people don't get mad at them. 
because they are running their mouth and basically trying to make it sound like they got this better life than what they really do. You know who people get mad at? The people who don't say nothing. The people who keep their mouth shut, mind their business, don't want you in their business. Those are the people that everybody get mad at. Those are the ones that people want to, you know, want to try to take down. I'm like, what the hell? But listen, the whole faking it is making it today is not the way to do it. And I want to kind of dig into this thing about what is it that makes a person fake it until they make it. And I think you can kind of connect it and associate it with the mindset of someone who does this thing of catfishing people, because sometimes a person will catfish somebody. Now y'all know what that is. You've seen the TV show, but basically it's where a person creates a fake profile. They use the picture of somebody else and they start talking to somebody trying to get that person to like them, but they never really show their face or they never really, you know, want to meet up in person. They want to do everything online because to them, that's how they can stay behind the scenes and keep everything a secret Um, and don't really expose that they're not who they are. And it's sort of the same thing with people faking it till they make it today. But I want to dig into the mindset of someone who does the whole catfishing thing is because they have some insecurities. Just like a person who uses somebody else's picture to create a fake profile to meet people, people who create a fake life that they made it on social media is sort of the same thing. There are some insecurities about their life. You may have a person that does a job to where they just feel like no one's going to respect them. They feel like they can't meet somebody. You may have a person who might be like uh, a mechanic or somebody who's, maybe does building services, somebody who does security, somebody who works a front desk or somebody who's maybe like a concierge, you know, it's, it's a difference. And let's just be honest. If a woman says she's a bank teller, it's cool. It's acceptable to other guys. She works at a bank. If a man works as a bank teller, it's like, you know, bank tellers only make this amount of money, right? You know, (laughs) so Or maybe they are like work at a restaurant or a gas station and they don't make the money. It's not like a prestigious job and the person could really like them. But the person, when people ask, so what does he do for a living? Uh, He, he, he's, he's a uh, assistant manager at, at McDonald's. You know, nobody wants to tell that, but whoever you're with, if you're with somebody and they treat you good and it's a good person, and you got a good relationship, be proud. Be proud. You shouldn't be embarrassed about who you're with and what they do. And just as the same goes to you, you should not be embarrassed about your life. If you are a housekeeper, you don't, you shouldn't feel embarrassed that you got to create this fake lifestyle. So other people look at your life and say, oh, you know, you clean toilets and you vacuum and empty trash. You know, it's some people out there doing the same thing. They're doing the same thing. So it's just kind of people will get insecure about what they're doing. I almost lost my thought for a second. They're getting, they're really insecure about their present life. They can be insecure about where they live. They can be insecure about their job. Um, They can be insecure about the car they drive. You know, it could be someone who doesn't have a lot of friends. They don't have a lot of of people in their life. So they create a fake life instead of just a fake profile of just saying like, Hey, this picture's not me. This is somebody else. You like this guy, but through this picture, you can like me. These people saying, look at my world. They're trying to show you their whole world. Now, not just a picture for you to fall in love with. They want you to fall in love with their world because they want you to believe that they have something. And in their mind, They're putting themselves inside that fake world. So they have to keep it up and it takes a lot of energy and they have to be mindful of every picture they post. Because now if you're going to take a picture of somewhere in Dubai and go on Adobe and Photoshop it and put it in there, then someone who's from Dubai asks you, what hotel was that? Now you got to get the picture, look up where it was and try to remember where you took the picture and what, where you cropped it from. And you know, where did the site say the picture was? Then you got to hope the picture, well, they got the right name in there. It's just so much that goes into faking your life, faking 
where you are, faking what you have. It's just not worth the time and energy. We have to learn to be happy with ourselves. We have to be learn happy. We have to learn to be happy with our current lifestyles. Now, it may not be where you want to be. You may not be where you saw yourself. Like you may say, you may have saw yourself being so much further than where you are. But the point is, faking it and assuming that you've made it is not the way to do it. It's gonna take action, take steps. If you say you wanted to have this degree and have this type of job, to start working on that degree and pursuing that job. Start trying to actually take the action steps to put you in that position instead of trying to create fake images and fake posts and trying to fake connect with people you don't even know on social media, try to, to try to tie your world into this fake world you created. And a lot of people will do that. You know, they will follow a bunch of celebrities or a bunch of singers and they'll comment on these singers and actors posts and hopefully they'll comment back and then they can say, Oh yeah, darn it. They did it. You know, they responded back. You know, I have, Posted like there are some celebrities I follow, but I follow because I really value who they are and what they show. Now, one person I follow is Eddie Griffin. Now, I posted one post because I thought it was so I, I thought about something. I'm saying like it was some saying about uh, getting up, you know, real people get up to make money or something like that. What bosses do or whatever. I don't remember what the post was, but I think Eddie Griffin actually liked the post and reposted it. So the thing about it is I'm not Eddie Griffin's friend. I'm a fan, but I'm not his friend. So I can't repost that everywhere and say, yeah, my man, Eddie. Yeah, me and me and Eddie Griffin. Yeah, Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin don't know me. Eddie Griffin got like what? Hundreds of thousand followers. Do you really think that man knows me? Just because I repost one, he liked the post that I did or left a little comment that he knows me. And a lot of people, that's what they do. They get these single posts from a celebrity and they just try to run with it and create this world. Like this is the world that they're in. Now, would we like to meet these celebrities? We'd love to meet Eddie Griffin. Now, would that happen? <laughs> you know, but it's the fact that you cannot create these fake worlds and expect everybody to simply fall in love with you because they're not falling in love with you. They're not falling in love with who you are. These fake worlds are just fake people and fake friends. And it's really just going to end up causing more problems for you. You got to figure out what it is in your life that you really want to do. But you got to get your confidence up in yourself. And no matter what you're doing, no matter what job you're doing, no matter where you're working, have confidence about you and who you are. And find like-minded people. Don't go out here trying to recruit fake people who don't even care about you or your well-being to be your supporters. It's a waste of time. It's stupid. Because you deserve better. You deserve people in your life who are going to truly support you and stand by the things that you're trying to do in life. And too often, we allow ourselves to be caught up in fake things. And when we do that, it simply destroys you from the inside. Because when the followers and the likes stop and you no longer get as many likes and follows as you used to get, the only thing you're going to do and start going to more extremes to try to get more people to like and see what you're doing. So you just gotta be careful about creating fake worlds. You don't need that. All you need to do is believe in yourself, baby. Trust in yourself, have confidence in yourself. That's what you do. We'll be back with your host, Reggie, on Simply Straight Talk. Hey. Are you looking for some great music, upbeat, and with a positive voice? Well, the song, I Stand With You, is exactly what you need. This timeless song has a pop version sung by Audrey Carmel.
and a reggae version sung by General Steele, now known as Revelation. Now I know some days you may feel blue, Lord, trust in your greatness to see you through. These songs are now available on iTunes and other digital platforms for download. Don't miss out. Get your copy today. Give life your best and I know. Are you ready for the straight truth? Reggie, what's the final word for today? What's up, Simply Straight Talk listeners? We're back with the final word of today's show. Man, today we talked about faking it is making it today. And that's what a lot of people have come to accept. That's what a lot of you have come to believe. And I'm just asking you that if you have something you want to do, don't live it through social media. Don't live it with this faking it mentality. Really put in the work. Because I'm telling you that regardless of how far you get with it, you're going to find you're going to get more reward from it just in the process of actually going through the motion and actually, actually pursuing what you want to get it realistically. Because sometimes a lot of people say, I can't find my passion in life. You're never going to find your passion, your place or what you want. If you're faking it, you're never going to find the right relationship. If you're faking it, you cannot fake it and say, I have made it today. Faking your lifestyle, faking your your job, faking your dreams, faking images and posts that you travel and do all these things. Living through images and the Internet is not the way to do it. There's nothing better then physically going somewhere. Don't fake like you go to Singapore, save your money, plan a trip and go to Singapore, go to Canada, go to the opera, go and visit some of these places that you want to see these places that you are posting. No, do it. Actually do the things that you want to do to have that lifestyle. So it's realistic. So it's reality. And I think you're going to find out that once you overcome the insecurities that you have, about whatever it is you have in your life, be it your job, your relationship, your finances, or if you're just simply not happy at where you are in life right now, once you actually deal with that and face and accept where you are, then you can start building the road to get to where you want to be, to where you're physically there. And you're not playing all of these uh, cut and paste games with your life. You're not playing all these crop and post games with your life. Because everything is going to be real. And I think that everybody deserves to actively pursue the things that they want to pursue in life. Don't live your life based on what other people are doing. What you see on TV, these reality TV shows and all of this stuff. Live your life based on what you want. Because whatever it is you want to do do in life, nobody can do it better than you. You've heard that said. There are things that you want to do. Nobody can do it better than you. If you work at a construction site, be the best construction worker. Be proud of what you do. If you enjoy construction, then, hey, make that your life. Find your passion there. Find your place. Maybe you're going to be the one to own your own construction company. You can do the things that you want to do without having to live in a fake imagined world. And I think a lot of us, are trying to coexist in these fake communities, these fake worlds, and we're not happy. People are living with stress, anxiety, and some people think that by getting out of the real world and diving into these fake worlds that we've created, that somehow we're helping ourselves and we're really not. We're really not because we're not dealing with the truth. We're not dealing with reality. So there is no real healing. There is no real progression in life. And emotionally, you're not progressing in healing because you can't heal behind a fake wall. You can't heal with fake medicine, fake words, fake people. You got to get out there and network and get with people who truly are going to bring something into your life that's going to motivate you, inspire you. You have to connect with life itself and you cannot connect on the Internet in a fake world, a cyber world, a fake cyber world. That once you turn that computer off and go bed, go to bed, now you're back in your reality and you're unhappy. You're starting to feel you know, emotionally drained, emotionally depressed, 
You got to get out of that world and get into the real world because there is something that only you can give and something that is only meant for you. People say that you can miss your blessings in life. I don't believe you miss your blessings. What I believe is that God has something for everybody and whatever blessings he has for you are for you. But what I believe personally is if you're not in the place you're supposed to be at the time that blessing is supposed to come, there is a time frame when you will get back to that point again. But it all depends on you being on the right, being in the right place, in the right frame of mind, your life in the right place, which means you got to get out of this fake world and get into reality. And when you get to that place, the next time you'll be ready to receive and it'll be given to you. But I think a lot of people feel like they got to fake it. And I don't agree with that. Hey, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you guys really have fun listening to it. You're getting something from it. Don't forget to share this episode with somebody else. Have a discussion about it. And don't forget, as always, share your comments. Drop a line but no, Let me know what you think about the show. I would love to hear your feedback. And let's talk about it, man. Let's get this conversation going. And... Keep looking out. Yes, I've got the DMs and messages. Angelique and Melissa are still here. They'll be back shortly. So, guys, they're working on some other things right now, but they will be back. We got it set up. We're just going to lock in some dates. So, yes, they will be back. So, they are not gone. You know I got love for my sisters, man, my beautiful sisters, Angelique and Melissa. So, y'all stay tuned, man. Everybody will be back shortly. But join us here next Friday for another episode of the Simply Straight Talk Show. That's it for this week's episode of the Simply Straight Talk podcast. Be sure to sign up to our email list at simplystraighttalk.com and follow us in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss our next episode. Wishing you a wonderful day from the Simply Straight Talk crew. Simply Straight Talk with your host Reggie B. So join in, free your voice, it's your choice, all right here, oh, simply straight, simply straight talk.